Having the ability to turn or rotate your feet without moving the whole body is a really useful tool. And at this stage, it's going to mean you're going to be able to slow down much faster, handle narrower slopes. But what we're going to look at is ability to turn those feet without making the whole body swing round. A great way to feel this foot rotation is start going across the slope. I'm not going to turn downhill. I'm actually going to turn uphill and across myself. So I'm going to start to slide. Keep those arms in front. Let's gently stand, turn the feet and then put the brakes back down. You can almost imagine that you're putting a couple of drinks on a low table. So you can see my feet turned, but my body was staying facing this way. A small standing up at the start of that will help those feet come round and then place the pressure back down, keeping those hands in front. Let's try it the other way. So my arms are in front, I'm looking where I'm going, stand up, turn the feet, and then get those skis back onto their edges and feel that control. As you practice it, the more comfortable you feel, just pick up the speed and really try and get a good spray of snow. I'm gonna keep working on it. This is exactly the same as what we've done before, but this time we're gonna add another turn at the end. So start to slide across, feel that control, and then gently stand up and come around the corner. Up until now, we've just been going across the slope to pick up a bit of speed. It's got nothing to do with the turn itself. This should make a lot more sense. Now we're going to put it back together. But watch how my feet are going to be turning and my body's going to be staying nice and neutral. So the feet turn underneath, my body's facing down the hill. Really going to help if you can keep your eyes looking straight down the hill. Turn the feet, control. Turn the feet, control. Turn the feet, control. Turn the feet, control. But you can watch my body still facing down the hill. So my feet are turning. It's a really useful thing to be able to do. What you probably noticed there was a smooth up and down through the turn. Now the reason I'm doing that, two things. I'm standing up as I'm turning my feet and then coming back down. Now that's going to take some pressure off the skis and it's going to make them easier to turn underneath me. The other thing that's going to help is that as I stand up, the ski can become flat, make the skis turn, and then build up that pressure and get the control back. But it's a subtle movement and nice and smooth. It isn't up, down, hold a position. It should be a fluid movement. 